Welcome to Speed Math Lesson 2 with AOSA Institute. Today we're going to be looking at how to times two numbers together when they're in their teens. We're going to do this in our head in under four seconds. Now I promise you by the end of this short video, you will be able to do this too. So last lesson we looked at how to square numbers that are double digit and we looked at how we could possibly do that in under three seconds. So for example, we covered the 85, 85 squared example. You could literally do this in under three seconds. And when I say three seconds, I mean that is actually quite generous with the time. So if you want to learn how to do that, go back to our last lesson. This lesson, we're going to be looking at how to multiply numbers in their teens, such as 12 times 17 or 13 times 19. And next lesson, we're going to be looking at numbers. It's in a specific case where the first digit is the same and the last digits add to 10. So it could be 72 times 78 or 81 times 89. And we're going to look at how to do that in typically around three to five seconds in your head. Now this stuff is very easy. Okay, very easy. So if you stick with me here, you're going to learn a lot. So the first step is cross addition. Now I want to teach you this through an example as I find that's the best way to learn. So we got two numbers, 13 times 19, and we're going to cross add. And what this means is we're going to take the three and we're going to add it onto the 19. Alternatively, you could take the nine and add it onto the 13. But either way, you'll get 22. So three plus 19 or nine plus 13 is 22. So this will be the start of your answer, 22. So that's step one, and there's only one more step. You multiply the last digits and then you add them onto the answer. So we know that 3 times 9, which is the last digits in both these numbers, 3 times 9 is 27. Now all we're going to do is add 27 onto the problem. See there, 27 is literally laid on top. So 22 with 27 laid onto the end of the answer, we get 247. Okay, so I'll go back a step. Look at that 2, how it carries on. And that 7 literally carries on to nothing, so it just becomes 7. So we get 247, 247. So the answer is 247, and it's as simple as that. Now I want you to have a go. 12 times 13. Think of the process we just went through. Step 1, we cross add. Step 2, we multiply the last digits and add it on. I'll give you a go, you go for it. Did you get it? I hope you did. So we add the two onto the 13 or the three onto the 12. That's step one. And we come up with 15 blank. So 15 blank would be the first step. Now the second step we get multiply the last digits and add that onto the end of the answer. So the last digits are two times three and that's six. And we chuck that six onto the end and we end up with 156. It's as simple as that. Honestly, it really is. So if you want to relearn what we've just done, go straight to the start of this video and watch it again. But an easier and better way is to go onto the AOSA Institute website, which is artofspeedmath.com, and there are three free books you'll get in our free math speed math training series. But it's only there for a limited time. We've just launched, and we're now just releasing these books free of charge. So sign up, jot your name down, and you'll get these books emailed to you straight away. You will learn speed math tricks that are unbelievable. Speed math tricks, some of which have not been seen or taught before. So I hope you'll take advantage of these. Go straight to the website, jot your name down. You cannot miss it from the home page. So go there now, and I hope you'll see you for lesson three, where we'll be looking at a very simple, very amazing trick, timesing two numbers together where the first digit is the same and the second digit adds to 10. Thanks for listening. Ciao.